Right, good morning uh, boys and girls, welcome to term two. Um, uh, maths with the differences term. You guys get to sit in your lounge and, and uh, do your maths. Um, so we're going to kick off this term with, uh, we're going to carry on with geometry of 2D shapes. Um, remember last term we did uh, triangles. And this term we're going to start off with quadrilaterals. Now, um, if you remember like we spoke about in class, um, mono is one. Bi is two, as in bicycle, it's got two wheels. Um, tri is three, so hence a triangle has three sides, um, triangle. A quadrilateral, quad means four, as in quad bike, a quad bike has four tires. Um, so a quadrilateral is a shape with four sides. Okay, um, so what I'd like you to do first things first thing uh, um, is I'd like to to open to an empty page, and I'd like you to draw a quadrilateral. Any type of quadrilateral, so four lines that make up a two D shape. Okay, and I'd like you to do it about ten centimeters by ten centimeters big, like I've done over here. Okay, so um, pause the video and draw yourself a quadrilateral in your books. Okay, so the next thing I'd like you to do is to dissect your quadrilateral. Dissect, remember we spoke about, di is also means two. So you're gonna go from corner to corner of your quadrilateral and cut it into two pieces. So make a line through the middle and divide into two pieces. I'd also like you to label your line segments. So like I've done here, I've said line segment A, B, A, C, B, D, C, D. Okay, I would like you to label them like that. Okay, so the next thing I'd like you to do is to measure your angle. So grab your protractor um, and I'd like you to put your protractor on every angle. So let's look at angle B, A, C. Okay, that's one angle. Um, so that would be B, A, angle B, A, C. And I'd like you to measure it to find out how much it is. Okay. Then I'd like you to measure angle ACB. And with your protractor measure it. And I'd, so I'd like you to do it with all the angles. So there's three angles. One, two, three in this triangle over here. And there's one, two, three angles. Altogether, you've got this quadrilateral that's been cut in half. And it makes up two triangles. Okay, there's one triangle over there. And one triangle over here. Okay. Now what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to measure every single angle with your protractor. So one, two, three, four, five, six angles. Right, pause the video and you can measure those angles. Okay, so on my quadrilateral, I'm, I took my big uh, protractor and I've measured all my angles. And I came up with 95 degrees, 40 degrees, 50, 25, 80 and 75 degrees. Now, if you remember correctly, when we were going through triangles last term, um, what was the total, the total of all three angles inside a triangle? Okay, the total of all three came to 180 degrees. So any triangle, total internal angles add up to 180 degrees. Now, this is exactly the case here. This triangle over here, its angles add up to exactly 180 degrees and likewise with this triangle over here also adds up to 180 degrees okay what's 180 plus 180 okay 180 plus 180 is 360 degrees so therefore our rule with quadrilaterals is all the angles all the angles Inside a quadrilateral equal 360 degrees. All the angles inside a quadrilateral will equal 360 degrees. Okay, and that's any type of quadrilateral. So it can be a square, a rectangle, a parallelogram, a rhombus, a trapezium. Every single Quadrilaterals angles will add up to 360 degrees. Right, we're going to look at uh, the different types of um, quadrilaterals. 
And we're going to kick off with this little tongue twister, parallel <laughs> parallelogram, parallelogram, and um, you get bonus points if you spell it right. Mr. Fraser has spelled it right. He did check the textbook. Okay, so a parallelogram is um, has parallel lines. It has two sets of parallel lines. Okay, so you've got this line over here is parallel with this line. Now remember from term one, uh, we spoke about parallel lines are two lines that run next to each other. The distance between them remains the same forever and ever and ever. They can't get any closer together and they can't get any further apart. Okay, so they will continue next to each other with the same distance infinitely. Okay, that is a parallel line. A, parallel, a parallelogram has two pairs of parallel lines. It has two pairs of parallel lines. Okay, he has one pair of parallel lines. The other pair, remember these little arrows stand for parallel. They are markings for parallel lines in any shape. There's one pair of parallel lines and another pair of parallel lines. Okay, the other thing with the parallelogram is they opposite sides are equal. So this side is equal to that side. This side is equal to that side. So opposite sides are parallel and opposite sides are equal. This side is equal to that side. This side is equal to that side. Another feature with parallelograms, um, they feature packed these, these, uh, these shapes, is opposite angles are also equal. So this angle is equal to that angle. This angle is equal to that angle. Okay, so you can remember it quite easily. There are two pairs of two pairs of parallel lines. Opposite sides are equal. And opposite angles are equal. Okay, and there you have a parallelogram. Okay, now this is a shape that all of you guys should know. Obviously it's a square, okay? And a square is also a type of parallelogram because it has two pairs of parallel lines. Okay, this line is parallel to that line. This line is parallel to that line. Okay, so it has two pairs of parallel lines. Then another feature of the square that makes it um, a little bit different is all its angles are 90 degrees. Okay, remember this little square goes in the corner that tells you this is a 90 degree angle. So all the angles of a square are 90 degrees. <clears throat> the other, the feature, one feature of a square that makes it unique as well is all sides are equal. All four sides are equal. So it has four equal sides two pairs of parallel lines and every angle in the square is 90 degrees and that is another type of parallelogram okay so the next type of parallelogram is called a rhombus okay and a rhombus is very similar to a square obviously you can see you've just taken the square and we've tilted it over a little bit sort of like the leaning tower of square okay so a rhombus um, is very similar but it has some differences to a square Okay, now it also has its parallel lines. So it's got two sets of parallel lines. There's one set of parallel lines. And here's your second set of parallel lines. So a rhombus has two sets of parallel lines. Okay, it also has four sides that are the same. Okay, so all four sides are the same length, same as a square. The difference with a rhombus and a square is a rhombus doesn't have 90 degree angles. Okay, but... A rhombus, opposite angles of a rhombus are equal. So this angle over here is opposite to that angle and they are the same. This angle over here is opposite to this angle over here and they are the same. So it has two, the opposite angles of a rhombus are equal. All the sides are equal. It has one set of parallel lines here and one set of parallel lines there. And that's a rhombus. Okay, so the last parallelogram that we've got is a rectangle. Okay, a rectangle, as you know, has two sides that are longer than the other two sides. So 
So that's what separates it from a square. Okay, now it's got some features that are the same as a square. Um, first of all, all internal angles are 90 degrees. Okay, all the internal angles of a rectangle are 90 degrees, or right angles. Okay, that makes it the same as a square. Now with a, a rectangle, opposite sides are equal. So this side is equal to that side. This side is opposite to that side, and they are equal sides. This side is opposite to that side. And this side, this side is the same size as that side. Okay. The other feature is it also has two pairs of parallel lines, which makes it a parallelogram. Opposite sides are parallel. So there's one set of parallel lines there. And here's another set of parallel lines over there. Okay, so it has two sets of parallel lines. Opposite sides are equal. And all four internal angles are 90 degrees or um, right angles. And that is the last parallelogram, which is a rectangle. Okay, so the last two quadrilaterals we're going to look at are not parallelograms. Okay, they, they are quite different. Um, the first one is a cut. Now, any of you who love to go to the beach on a Saturday have seen, these, seen the shape flying in the sky. Okay, a cut is has features um, that are quite unique. Okay, and the first of these is that it has two sets of lines that are the same. Okay, this line is the same size as that. This line is the same size as that. Okay, so we can say that it has two pairs of equal sides. One pair of equal sides, two pairs of equal sides. As you can see, there are no parallel lines in a kite. Okay, and the only angles that are the same on a kite are these opposite angles. Okay, this angle is the same as this angle, but these angles will always be different. Okay, if they are the same, if they are the same, you essentially have, what is the shape? So I'm trying to draw it the best I can. This becomes a diamond. Okay, so if you have the same, the same um, angles on opposite sides, you have a diamond. So I should actually be making these all the same. Okay, a trapezium, the only feature of a trapezium that makes it a trapezium is that it has a set of parallel lines. Okay, this line is parallel to that line. That's the only feature that it has. All sides are different. So this side is different to that side, is different to this side, is different to that side. All four sides are different. Okay, there are no equal angles. All the angles, internal angles, are all different. So the only feature of a trapezium that makes it a trapezium is it has one pair of parallel lines. Okay, and that makes it a trapezium. A cut, two pairs, two pairs of, of lines that are the same, and opposite angles are the same but it only has one set of angles that are the same okay so boys and girls what i'd like you to do now is i'd like you to turn to page number 68 okay of your uh, textbook if you can see over there page 68 okay if you've gone to 69 you've gone one page too far um right and i'd like you to actually look at the examples of the quadrilaterals okay you've got it spelled out here i'd like you to divide your book um, we'll take a clear page and divide it into six blocks. Okay, so draw a line down the middle and then draw it into three segments. That gives you six blocks. And I would like you to reproduce this. So I'd like you to draw each shape, label the shape. So draw a, a square, label it square. And then I'd also like you to, um, next to it, label as to what classifies it as that shape. So uh, this is a square, draw your square. Then next to it, you're going to write all sides are equal, all angles are equal to 90 degrees. I'd like you to do that for each type of quadrilateral that that's, uh, you have there. Okay, following that, I've actually um, I've put up a worksheet um, that has some uh, little problems for you to solve. And that you'll find on, on your Google Classroom um, app. And what we're going to do is um, do, do the exercise today. In two days' time, I'm going to put up the answers for you to self-mark. Okay, good luck and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.